In this digital age, file handling is an essential skill when working with computers and programming languages like Python. Just as in the real world, where we interact with files to store information or retrieve data, computers also use files to manage data. Imagine your computer's hard drive as a gigantic filing cabinet, where each file corresponds to a document, image, video or any other type of data. In Python, file handling refers to the process of creating, reading, writing and manipulating files on your computer's storage. This allows you to store data persistently, meaning the data will remain available even after the program has finished executing. Just like how you can write notes on a piece of paper and read them later, file handling in Python lets you store data on a file and access that data at a later time. Python's file handling capabilities are user-friendly and powerful, making it easy for developers to work with various types of files. Whether you want to read data from an existing file, write new information to a file or manipulate file content, Python provides simple and efficient methods to accomplish these tasks. In this video, we will explore the fundamentals of file handling operations in Python, including opening and closing files, reading from and writing to files, creating as well as deleting files. Understanding file handling will open up new possibilities for you as a programmer, allowing you to work with the data in a more versatile and permanent way. Hello everyone and welcome to this video by IntelliPart. Now let's dive into the exciting world of Python file handling. Well, file handling is a very important of any web application. Well, you have four different features which you can perform in a file handling. You can open, read, write and delete a file using Python. All right, let's see them one by one. The first one being open. So you can use open function to open a file and it takes two parameters, the file name and the mode. Let's see the syntax. Syntax is f equal open path of the file. So you have the syntax as f equal open path of the file and its mode. Fine. Let's see what are the modes. So we have four different types of mode, read, append, write and create. For reading, you specify r. It's a default value and it opens the file for reading. And if the file does not exist, it would return you an error. Next is the append. And the mode is A. Alright. What it will do, it will open a file for appending. And in case if the file does not exist, it would create a new one. Next mode is W, which is write. It opens a file for writing and creates a file if it does not exist. Fine. I'll tell you about the difference of appending and writing later in this section. Alright. Next and the final one is create. That is X. It creates the specified file and it returns an error if the file with the same name exists. It creates the specified file and it returns an error if you already have a file with same name. Fine. Let me just show you. Like F equal open path of the file. I'll open it in my D drive. D slash name of the file test file dot txt and comma what should be my mode it is a reading mode r hit enter okay so as i told you earlier it would throw you an error if the file does not exist right if you want to create it, you have to mention X up here and it will create your file. Let's go to our D directory and let me just show you the file. D, so you can see the test file up here, right? So this is how you can open a file in Python or you can even write W up here. It won't throw you an error. since it creates a file if it does not exist, but it won't throw you an error in case the file with same name exists. Next is the read function. Well, suppose this is our file. It consists of a document, hello, welcome to demo file.txt. This file is for testing purpose. Good luck. Let's open our demo file. Test file. Hello, everyone. Welcome. 
to IntelliPad. Good luck. Let's save it. Save it as test file dot run. Let's see what other operation we can perform on it. Now, what if I want to read it? So how will I do? So f equal open demo file dot txt comma mode r. R is what? Reading mode. And then print f dot read. Fine. Uh, let me just open that file for you. f equal open the path of the file. It was d colon slash test. file one dot txt and in what mode I want to open it in read mode and I want to print all the content which is present in that particular text file so f dot read it first and then print it hit enter so these are the content of my file hello everyone welcome to IntelliPad and good luck fine now what if I want to read some parts of the file like I want to read the first five characters of the file. So what will I do? Let's see. Let me just copy and paste it. I want to read the first five characters. So just mention five up here. What will it do? Print first five characters from the text file. Hit enter. So you got the output as hello, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So these are the first five characters from the string. All right. Now, what if you want to read the first line? So for that, you have a function as read line. All right. You have a function as read line, which would be used to return one line or the first line. Again, copy it. Paste it up here. Read. Read line. Hit enter. Sorry, you got an error. Okay, I error trapper read line. Okay, sorry, L is small. Read line. So you got the output as hello everyone. This is my first line. Next, what if I need to read first two line of my document? So what will I do in that case? So in that case, what you can do, you can use read line twice, and it will print first two line of your text like this again do it once more f dot read line hit enter again the same error okay so what you got so you got the first two line from your text all right now looping through the file now what if you want to read the file line by line so you can use a for loop in that case so it's like for x in f such that print x. If x is 1, then print first line, x is 2, then print second line, 3, so on. All right. So you'll be able to read the file line by line. Hello, everyone. Welcome to IntelliPad and good luck. Next is reading and creating. Now to write to an existing file, you must add a parameter to the open function. Like you can write a or w. A will append the file that it will append or add something at the end of the file. And w, it will overwrite any other existing content. For example, uh, let's copy paste it up here. Instead of r, let's mention a, it's for appending. And f dot write whatever you want to write this is the appending statement execute it fine now if you will check the file let's check the existing file open it in a read line mode or for x and f print x execute it so yeah so as you can see this is the appending statement got added at the end of the file 
Now, what if I use W instead of A? So, what will it do? This will overwrite my statements. So, here I can write print f dot write print f dot write this will overwrite everything execute it done now let's check it again what are the contents of my file so if you check it so only this is left this will overwrite everything fine so this was about how you can write to an existing file all right next we have is creating a new file well you can create it using x a or w using x creates a file and it returns an error if the file exists append it creates a file if the specified file does not exist and finally w it creates the file if the specified file does not exist for example if open my file.txt x it will just create a new file and in case you are attempting to create a file with the same name it will throw you an error for example remove this this file already exists right if i am trying to create it again it will throw me an error all right as file already exists or file exists fine next and the last we have is the delete well import os module is used to delete a file how you can delete it import the os module os.remove demo file.txt that's it but for that what do you have to do you have to first close the open file so f dot close inside this mention the name of the file and the path of the file d colon slash test file one dot txt first close it sorry it's like f dot close close the file now if you want to delete it you need to import OS module to it, import OS and OS dot remove inside that name of the file. What is the name of the file? Test file one dot txt. That's it. Got the error? The system cannot find the specified file. So I guess the file is. No, it's not deleted. Okay, I haven't specified the path of the file. I just written the name of it. So I'll write d colon slash and the file got deleted. So yeah, there is no test file one. All right, fine. So thank you guys. This was all for this session. Just a quick info guys, IntelliPath offers advanced certification in data science and AI in collaboration with iHub Divya Samparka, IIT Roorkee. Through this course, you can learn all the important concepts of data science and AI from esteemed IIT Roorkee faculties and industry experts. With this course, we have already helped thousands of professionals in successful career transition. You can check out their testimonials on our Achievers channel whose link is given in the description below. Without a doubt, this course can set your career to new heights. So visit the course page link given below in the description and take a first step towards career growth in field of data science and AI.